Hi everybody, this is Chris, and welcome back to another impromptu Amiga video. I was just doing some work on the 2000, and I thought I would share what I have done. Um, first off, if you're wondering what this crazy black uh, cable wrap is doing in my 2000's keyboard, my keyboard had stretched out over the years, so I wrapped it up, pulled it really tight, squishing this down, and tied this together and let it sit for a couple days. I just haven't removed it yet but the keyboard is now back in action it's not all I had a really long stretch where it wasn't like the original keyboard you can still see it a little bit right here but anyway that is now fixed so I can put that aside what I wanted to show you was just a small update um, I put the vampire more like I took the Kipper 2 keyboard which is a CPU uh, riser it's a CPU riser card that goes in the accelerator slot on the 2000 and uh, the Vampire or even a 68000 can sit in here and bypass the CPU itself it gave me a vertical mount for the Vampire which was easier to get the compact flash cards or SD cards in and out at the time um, later on I added a 44 pin uh, SD card I just have it in this anti-static bag for grounding protection uh, but what I did is I added a ribbon cable with a SD slot in the back I put in my uh, GVP 4008 with 8 megs of 16-bit RAM um, but mainly for the SCSI bus DB25 external uh, this is the Aradney 2 uh, RJ45 or ThinNet uh, I 3D printed a bracket that has the Vampire HDMI out and I just kind of made it big enough where I can get in and roll with my cards if I needed to do an OS change this is Coffin R54 in here right now and that's it uh, nothing else has been changed from my other videos I do have this GoTech in an external case now this GoTech was painted with the satin almond this wiring goofiness is me attempting to figure out why this doesn't work on my external floppy controller it just shuts off I should try it on the 2000 doesn't like the 3000 period but this one works I was going to replace it. it looks really good until you stick it next to this the difference in color I need this color for the front of the 2000 because the case cover on the 2000 has the almond and then this brownish color and if you were to put this GoTech in here it's a major difference in color and I'm okay right now with just leaving the one I have in there the original original I did update it to the latest version of flash floppy so it's functional I'm actually gonna put the cover back on it I've had the cover back on it I managed to procure the proper screws for the 2000 and 3000. If you are wondering why your screws are not working, M4.70 uh, pitch and the times six, these are six millimeter. Uh, some people are saying fours, but the six millimeters, they tend to work perfect. They work in all of the screws and the cases. If you're using the 830 seconds uh, American style thread, you will either cross thread and ruin the threads or the screw just will not bite properly so that's just an update on that we're going to put the cover back on that and we're going to do some 3000 finalizations i got the last four meg the last four megs of zip 1mx4s i purchased some more the other day and the guy only sent me two and then i had five so I have seven of eight and I ended up buying more and then since I am just so smart I bought an entire tube of 4MX1s because I must have used my dyslexia somehow acquired it and used it during my late night tired eBay session so be careful when you eBay laying in bed you can either buy way too many Amigas or the wrong parts the 3d printed bracket here this is just a pass-through 
This is an HDMI cable that is directly off the Vampire and just goes to one of those couplers. And the coupler was hot glued and zip tied, which I can probably take off now because the zip tie is, the hot glue is dry, but I'm just going to leave it. And when the case is all on, it looks nice and clean. I thought about doing the SCSI uh, CD-ROM again. I haven't made up my mind on that yet. I have many of them, and I was going to go ahead and put it back in. I have a lot of things on CD-ROM I could use, but I'm thinking I'm going to do it with the external only. That's why the SCSI card is in there. I have that Yamaha that I want to use on it. So let me get the cover back on here. 